Okay, welcome to U Reviews, and this time it's the Gamer Edition, first episode. So we have Walter, a big fan of this game, got a word. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, this is one actually one of the most anticipated games of uh, 2018. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, dig in. And dissect it with no spoilers. No spoilers, guys. So U Reviews, Gamer Edition, Walter. Me, Frankie D, coming up. All right, we're coming back, and he's the master of this game. He pre played before this coming out, the older games. Yeah. He knows everything about the game. I mean, really, if you think I'm a geek, he's more than a geek because. This game is his life. Video game nerd. Been sure. waiting like a little baby in the candy store. It's coming, it's coming. He took a day off of work on Friday yeah. just to play all day long. So mm -hmm. this is the guy who's gonna give you the reviews. I'm gonna try to give you some questions, but we're gonna try to make no spoilers. Why? Because we are not stupid enough like people do with spoilers in the movies and the same with the games. We don't want to ruin your experience because Definitely. when you play a game, there are a lot of stuff coming out that, dude, I already yeah. know this. There's no surprise. Now you're going to be like, Definitely stay away. Go. Stay away from the YouTube channel. Stay away from any article that has to do with the game because there are spoilers out there like crazy. For example, even the comment section, some of the YouTube videos, even on the trailers. Like I, I started, you know, since I beat the game, well, finished the story. I started reading some of the comments, and there are people out there that are malicious enough to post, you know, the ending of the of the of the story. It's like, why, dude? Why ruin it for people? And that's your fault too. Why are you gonna play a game, or even a movie or a TV show, and you wanna know what's going on, dude? That's that make no well, sense. Well, the thing is, they they'll post it on like a trailer. You know, you wanna watch a trailer, and they'll post the idiot the comments. They'll be like, oh yeah, and this happened. It's like, are you serious? That has nothing to do with the trailer. You just ruined the story for me. You know? But anyways, going back to this. This is not going to happen with us. No. So he was make sure that we're going to say nothing about the game. I mean, specifically the game. But in general, mm -hmm. as a player and a view, you play to prepare for these games, the previous ones. I did. I played all six of them. I mean, starting with, you know, and I did it like in order. For example, I did Ascension, X, you know, God X of War. Excellent. God of War Ascension. <laughs> then, you know, I played Chains of Olympus and God of War 1. Then God of War, I think it was what? Ghost of Sparta. No, it was 2. God of War 2, then Ghost of Sparta, then 3. So, I mean, I played all six of them before I started playing this. But then I realized something. Uh oh. I realized uh -oh. that. The magic's gone? No. No, 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 no. I didn't need to play the six games. I mean, not for the story, because the story from all the six Fire games are amazing. Amazing, by the way. If you get a chance, play them. It's, it's the only thing is that it's a PlayStation exclusive. It's a PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and now this one, PlayStation 4. But uh, if you want to know about the story and actually play the games, you should. They're amazing games. They have uh, their hack and slash, you know, uh, button smashers if you must. Uh, the story is just amazing. Uh, but this one, though, the controls for this one is a whole different thing. And that's why when I tell you that I didn't need to play the prior games to kind of like get the feel on this one, that's exactly what I meant. You don't have to play the other ones because the controls are – it's a 180 from the original. What I'm going to do is say, what were you talking Are you talking about we mm -hmm. playing – we're gonna switch and we're gonna show you part of the trailers, mm -hmm. and uh, you start saying whatever the game, what fascinating the game, from the story point, the player, the is is it looks good. It looks amazing. Um, in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinions actually, um, it is by far the best looking game on the PlayStation Four. Actually, it's almost. And I would say this with a lot of confidence that it is the best looking game on a console, period. Whoa. Yeah. Period. Yeah. It is amazing. Like, 
the way it was shot too because well we we see it right now the previous I try to look at a little bit what you wanna see you see how, us. see how right I mean, here it, on the trailer it looks stunning. Yeah. So I played it on a regular ten eighty P on a regular PlayStation four. Now imagine playing that on a on a four K like on a four K TV, you know, HDR, all that sweet stuff, and then on a PlayStation Pro. Like I, I that's I'm shooting for that next. Like I actually want to purchase a TV, a 4K TV, and I want to purchase a 4K uh, like a, a PlayStation know. Pro, just to play this one and also Horizon, which is another great game. We'll talk about that some other time. Uh, but yeah, just to play this game because it is graphically it's it's amazing. It hey, looks. I, I'm a guy who, you know, he's a gamer, a first person shooter more than anything else. I'm more. Xbox One, and we're going to start a battle, and we don't want to do that. But and an Xbox One, but I'm more a racing game and a sport games. And I play first person shooter. To me, Gears of War 4 was awesome. Well, well that's, that's, that's not, uh, that's, that's, uh, it's a different kind of game. It's a, it's a, it's an action game. It's a third person, yeah. third person. It's, it's a different kind of game. This uh, is, that's his, his thing. Adventure, you and know, he loved this guy, like and uh, this is a perfect. Yeah. And uh, what about the story hook you in this one? On this one, I mean, it didn't really, it didn't need to hook me on anything because I was already a fan. Yeah. You know, and and the whole, I but think, I think the main. You didn't find out the previous one, but this course. is a revive. This is completely different. This is a, story. this is what they call a soft reboot. All right, so a soft reboot is all right. It is a sequel to the franchise, to the original franchise, but it takes place in a whole different mythology. Look at that. On the original side, amazing. I wish I the graphic yeah. when you see that the ghost. What that's a ghost, right? What it's actually a race. A race. Yeah, yeah, but we, yeah, we we can't talk about well, that one. Well, yet. We see the commercials. Yeah, so yeah. But you don't know what it is. is. Yeah, we don't know what the heck it is. But whatever it is, so I said me, I said, what the heck is that? Here's the thing: the original six games take place in Greek mythology. So obviously, Greece. You know, like you visit the city of Athens. You know, you you visit all kinds of places in Greece. You know, and uh, but this new one though takes place years later, and he travels to where Norse mythology is. But that's pre-Viking era though. That's the beauty of it. A lot of people are like, oh, so you, you know, you encounter Vikings. No, you don't encounter Vikings. This is where it's almost like the same time period as all the gods, you know, because this is a time where the gods of Norse mythology are walking amongst the planet. Because before it's like, you know, people pray to the gods, you know, <laughs> yeah, God, you know, the God of thunder, the God of this, the God of that, you know, I pray to you and nothing happens. This this uh, th this game is actually based on the time period where the gods actually do exist, where the gods actually walk on Earth, like they're walking around, you know, and you see them. So it's uh, that that hooked me right there. The switch of mythology, going from Greek mythology to Norse mythology. So you go from like Zeus, you know, um, Poseidon, Her uh, Hermes, you know, Hephaestus, all these Greek gods, mm -hmm. to meeting a world where you have uh thor you have uh you know odin you have all these other great gods you know that are a different mythology and that's what hooked me that's why i i wonder how they're going to go ahead and play with this mythology now right. that you guys completely played with greek mythology how you, you guys you, you named four and we review our last review was infinity war yeah. and without telling you spoilers we know that thor loves his hammer and in this one it's a little bit well this is a different review they have a different weapon but a lot of people think about it mm. like oh, what I, happened in this one as soon as i saw that on screen i was it, like oh, oh they did a they did a they did a kratos they did a kratos and avengers like that's so dope and you'll see it if you play the game and if you watch the movie yeah i say he saw it when but, we did we're watching the movies but oh, my uh, friend my friend told me actually my friend that i was talking to told me that he Thor gets that weapon way before in the comics. So in reality, I think it was, it was Kratos that got the idea from Thor. So I was corrected. Oh, so I he's, stand corrected. He's totally from Thor. Yeah, but it, it was yeah, still amazing. Still Thor is the beast. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's what caught me from the stories. The okay. fact that it was a switch on mythology. Kratos is now older. 
you know, he's supposed to be uh, a lot wiser. He's he's older, obviously. He's trying he's trying to to kind of humanize himself, you know, because back then it was all rage. It was all like revenge and kill anything that that has like a different opinion of mine or kill anything that walks. You know, that was that was Kratos in the original franchise. And this one, it's more like you play on the PlayStation mm -hmm. four, right? Yeah. And for is it different way you play in this one, the controllers that you play in the other ones? Are the controllers are the same control? No. But sometimes you play other games like FIFA or other stuff. How they change the controller? You used to play one thing. It's like, hold here's, on, what the heck? thing. The what controls, the controls are. That's what a lot of people. Well, not a lot of people. The very few people are complaining. Is the fact that it's no longer a hack and slash game. You can't just press square, 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 and triangle, you know, to make a combo, and you can beat the whole game using that same combo in the original franchise. With this one, you really have to form some sort of a strategy because the only buttons, well, not the only, but the attack buttons are L1, I mean R1 and R2. R1 for light attacks, L, uh, R2 for heavy attacks. And then you control it with square. And then uh, I'm telling you, like, you block with L1. You aim your axe with uh, L2. You know, it's just they have it to where every button that you have on your controller is actually useful. So you think the way the, con the controller is using in this one is better than the other one? I wouldn't say better, but I think it's advanced. More effective? It, it's, more, it's more for strategy. Like okay. I said, the other one, the other game is basically a button smasher. The other game, and like I said, you can chain combos like X, uh, what is it? Uh, square, square, triangle, 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 or square, 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 triangle, and you have combos, you know? But this one, it's like you really, really, really have to think of how you're going to approach an enemy or a group of enemies, because if you don't, whew, you get you get slaughtered. You get beaten. And I'm telling you, I got my butt handed to me quite a few times. Quite a few times. Um... Uh... Originally, they say the game is around 37 hours to play. You didn't do that. You did it in, what, 20? Well, no, no, no. It's 35 to 40 hours to complete the game. The story. Completely, the whole thing. Complete, the story. Like, collectibles you and stuff like the that. story. Now, the story, it took me about, I would say, a good 18 to 22 hours. Something like that. Yeah, 18, 18 to 20 hours. So just the single-player story. Yeah, that is twice as much as you get from the original games. Actually, the original franchise, I think the single player story would be like eight hours, and then you okay. beat the game, which is technically which is the normal, the you know? normal basic yeah. almost of it. But with this one, it feels like about twenty hours, twenty a little bit more, you know. And that's without counting the side missions, because that's another thing. It's not a complete, it's not like an open world, like a full open world. Mm -hmm. But it feels that way for some reason. It, it's crazy how it feels. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's so, it, it's almost like it is an open world, but it's not. And there's a, a few locations that you can It's an open find world with limitations. With limitations, right? yeah. And probably those limitations are going to be open because I'm sure there's going to be an extended park. Pro probably. They're coming out probably. because the game just came out and they had to make the money. And then they're going to come out in a month, another extended park, and then do another one, the second one. Because I'm sure they're going to do a sequel of this game. They, they should. I mean, they should. They honestly should. Because, I, mean, I, can't, yeah, I can't really say. I can't say what happens. Yeah, I can't really say if, you know, hey, there is going to be a sequel or there isn't going to be a sequel. Like, you would have to honestly play the game. Because we don't want to spoil the ending. Yeah, just play the game. You know, honestly, you're, you're going to love it. It's one of the best games. It's not the best game I've ever played. And that says a lot knowing that I'm a gamer. Like, you know, that's, that's yeah, just, it's it's big. It's big. He's a gamer. Yeah, like he's a gamer. He got no life. He's a gamer. Work and PlayStation, and once in a while, Xbox One. But most of it PlayStation. No, no, no exclusives. No, 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 no. There. Even so, like, even so, I give my Xbox One to him because Gears of War. He's a fanatic. Oh, huge fan of Gears. And Gears of War, for. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It but, was. It was amazing. And we can do a review a year later. That's okay. But uh, it's a play. It's a must play. Or just wait. If you have a PlayStation Four and you don't get this game, just throw your PlayStation away. 
honestly, because <gasps> it's a must-play video game. I take it. If you don't want it, I take it. It's a must-play game. Dollar donation, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's definitely a must-play game. It's a must. It's all the reviews. You know, it has a 95 on Metacritic. It's one of the. It actually is the best exclusive on the PlayStation 4. People are calling it the game of our generation. I want to see all the hype, the 10 out of 10s, 9.5s out of 10s, like all the perfect scores that it's getting, it deserves. It honestly deserves. So I'm it's, not a, saying it's, that it's a must play no matter what. It's a heck, yeah, go and buy it. That's, that's what it is. Yeah, go and buy it, must play it, so no matter what. Yeah. Anything else you can add to the game without telling the spoilers? Because, again, people were, people were concerned about Atreus. You know, people were concerned that, um, you know, oh, he has, he has a kid with him. Usually those are considered escort missions. You know, you kind of have to babysit the kid. Like, he's going to distract us. <laughs> it's going to be a pain in the butt. You can forget about that. Because this is one of the rare occasions where the kid is actually useful. More than just to, you know, just to have him there or anything like that. He literally, you can upgrade him. Like, you can upgrade his bow. You can upgrade his powers, his armor. Same thing with Kratos too. Kratos, it's it's kind of like a like a different element where you can upgrade his armor, you can upgrade his axe, you know, his powers what and stuff. Your question? When you say upgrade, mm -hmm. this game doesn't have mic exception, right? It doesn't. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Corey Wait, Barlog. Like, maybe we can talk about it another time because a lot of people have been talking about this. How the room? He, he was asked about that on a tweet. On a tweet. How the room from two oh. with the stupidity of microtransactions? That's game I mean, like, that's really, I'm the guy game. who didn't buy it. You're welcome. But even so, thanks to Asset EA, I can play it for ten hours, and now now you can play all the character. That was. It was a even so that we skip a little bit from this game. It's still that's probably gonna be one of the revolution part of the gaming Industry. because they screwed up so badly, EA, with this one. And gamers woke up. And uh, other companies who want to try to do that. That's when he say you can upgrade. That's it. How you upgrade? Playing or buying? No, you playing. get it. You get it by playing, and you have to find. You that's the way find, it should be. That's the way it always be. You have to find a lot of things, you know, to upgrade some of the armors. Some of the armors are like legendaries and stuff, so you have to find certain objects to give to the dwarves, and the dwarves will actually uh, craft the armor, and you can continue upgrading it, you know. So it's honestly like right now, I, like I said, I beat the story, but I'm focusing on the side missions now. And the beauty about the side missions is that they are interesting because it adds to the story, it adds to the world that Kratos is in. So you get to find out a lot more things that are going around you and even like the history of some of the gods or some of the events that take place. So it's refreshing. It's honestly, it's, it's really, it's really cool side stories. And once again, Atreus is not a nuisance. Like he, he's not there just for show. He's not there just to have Kratos talk to him, call him <laughs> boy every like five seconds. Cause he does do that. He calls him boy. That's like his, Son, or, you know, it's, that's his equivalent to that, you know, like, boy, and that's what he does. But uh, Atreus, you know, he's a really good side character. He helps you when you're kicking butt. He has his own little powers. You know, he has his own thing. Amazing. Amazing. So it's a must play. It's a must buy. It's a must have it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, I think we wrap it up in the right way. Yeah, we did. And nothing to say. Thank you, Walter, because you are the guy to review this game because he's <laughs> a massive. And little by little, when all the new games coming out, we're going to start doing reviews of games, mm -hmm. not just PlayStations, even so the Xbox One don't have many exclusives coming out. And <laughs> we live for that. No, 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 no. Don't go there. Look, I'm no, a gamer. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. <laughs> As a gamer, I love all platforms. I love all consoles. You know, I have the Nintendo Wii. I have the, the Xbox One, thanks to Frankie. I have the PS4, the PlayStation 3. You know, I had the Xbox 360. had the Wii. I mean, I grew up with games. I grew up with since the Atari. So I've had mostly all the consoles, including, like, I think the only thing I didn't have was the Virtual Boy, thank goodness. But um, I've had all of those. But 
The console that always brings me to the exclusives is the PlayStation. Nothing against the Xbox One because the Xbox One X, for example, is the most powerful console. Hands down, the most powerful console ever. The only thing is that PlayStation beats it not by the hardware, but by the but exclusive again, video again, games that it has. And that's what Microsoft that's is what losing right now. Mm-hmm. But that's another story. And the reason that he is playing Wire and Gamer, I'm a gamer, not that he they figure out video games. I know that the game, you know. And so I really started playing games as a PC gamer before the console came out. I was a PC gamer. I used to build custom PC games for people. Uh, so it was my passion. And first person shooter, no matter why you can be, the best PlayStation, the Flex, Xbox, the best player in the world, nobody can beat a PC gamer. That's why they don't want to interact yeah. most of the games. Because even if I know a great player, I can beat the hell of any best player in any console. Because the control you have in a PC is unique, faster, and it's no other way. And that's why I still have a problem with virtual shooter. Because I played for so many days, so many years as a mouse and a keyboard. That right. When you go with yeah. the gamepad, you don't have the control. You don't have the control. Even if you're great and people are amazing with that, you still, unless you play PC game, you don't have that control mm-hmm. that you have in a PC game. It's and true. that's my problem. I think after so many years, I'm from the Xbox One, Xbox 360, Xbox One, uh, and uh, the Xbox One S. I had all of them. I still, for me, that I can play country voice racing games and sport games. Sport games, you don't need much of the control. But racing games, I'm very good at it and, and I love it. And, but that's my problem. That's my way I play uh, games. He is from the basics. He's been playing every single gamer console, probably. Yeah. So it's just he knows this and he loves these games and he knows the passion of the game. So that's why I say, you know what? They started making some uh, video games uh, when they start coming out little by little. Now in the summer it's coming out and they have these E3 soon. So you're gonna have more reviews from us once in a while. Uh, and still, they're gonna be chased for the gaming. You're gonna see it, it's gonna say gaming edition. Mm-hmm. But Walter, thank you for coming. Thank you for doing this review. Thank you for having me. And uh, thank you for playing. And after you finish playing, you say, I'm going to do the review. That's your console. That's your well, thing. Right That's where the magic baby. happens. Different, this is my favorite one. Uh, Gears of War. I love this one. And <laughs> but until the next time, thank you for coming. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel. In the bottom, my Facebook yoga. And then all the previews that I had before. And until the next time, as a game, as a movies, as a TV shows, thank you for coming. And ciao. Peace. Peace.